Hi, I'd like to talk to you about the uh, NaviEngine demo here at Convergence. And I'm going to turn on the machine. And the first thing that you'll notice about this is the very quick time that it starts to actually display information. And that's because this device has four CPU cores, four ARM11 cores, uh, each running at uh, about 500 nits, so a total of 2,000 nits for this processor. And what you see here is a display that shows off the four CPUs, uh, CPU 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, CPU 0 is actually running a real-time OS T-kernel that is able to boot up very fast. And then the other three CPUs are all running uh, Windows CE OSs. It is running in uh, asymmetric multiprocessing so that each of the four cores has an individual version of the operating system on it. This device does have the capability to also run in symmetrical multiprocessing, which means that the cores are actually running a single version of the OS, and then tasks are dynamically allocated to an individual core by the operating system itself. So what we saw here is that one of the CPUs is actually doing uh, a count out and it has rebooted. So one of the nice things about this is that you can see that one of the CPUs rebooted, the other three are operating correctly, um, can seamlessly uh, transition without any changes. The last thing I wanted to show you here is the very rich graphics. So this device not only has four cores, it also has a graphics capability, uh, 3D graphics. And uh, you can see this has a, a 3D rendering. Uh, it's actually showing a uh, location in Tokyo that's rendering off of the 3D mapping. 